Welcome to our lecture online. Just so we know for sure that we know how to do this, a few more examples. How do we simplify something like i to the 59 power? From the previous video, we realized that any an exponent, any exponent that's a multiple of 4 for the i is simply equal to 1. i to the 4th, i to the 8th, i to the 16th, i to the 32nd, and so forth. So what we need to do is rewrite this in terms of i to the multiple of 4 times i to what's remaining. And so I can see here that this can be written as i to the, hmm, let's see, 56 times i to the 3rd, because 56 is hmm, 14 times 4. We don't really care how many times 4 it is, because we know that as long as it's a multiple of 4, we're good. We can write this as being equal to 1. So this is equal to 1 times i to the 3rd, or simply i to the third, and of course i to the third, that's equal to negative i. So this is equal to, well, if you're not sure, write it as i squared times i, and i squared, of course, is equal to negative one, so this is equal to negative i. So that's the simplified form of i to the 59 power. How about one over i to the sixth? Well, you can say that this is the same as one over i to the fourth, times i to the second power. And i to the fourth is equal to 1, so that can be written as 1 over 1 times i squared, and i squared is equal to negative 1. So this is equal to 1 over 1 times a negative 1, or this is simply equal to a negative 1. And finally, i to the negative 19. So this can be written as 1 over i to the 19 power. Then again, you pull out a multiple of 4. So this can be written as 1 over, that would be uh, i to the 16th times i to the 3rd. And of course, you realize that i to the 16th is equal to 1. So this can be written as 1 over i to the 3rd. Of course, this can be written as 1 over i squared times i. And i squared is equal to negative 1, so this is equal to negative 1 times 1 over i. And then we learned that 1 over i is the same as negative i, and if you're not sure, all you need to do is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by i. And i times i is i squared, so this is equal to negative 1 times i in the numerator divided by i times i, which is i squared, times the negative 1 in the denominator. They cancel out, and this is simply equal to i. And that is how it's done.